Yeah, what's going on guys? Seth Spartan here, nutrition training and hormone expert and Prometheus Pro bodybuilder with Prometheus HRT, the world's best testosterone and hormone replacement clinic. Use my code SPARTAN to save on either testosterone or HGH replacement therapy or peptides or Anavar, Anadrol, and the list goes on as long as you qualify. Guys, without any further ado, this is CJC 1295 DAC unleashed like you've never heard it before. Guys, we're going to go through all the pros, unbiased, uncensored, absolutely everything you could ever want or need to know for that matter. From there, we're going to jump on over into the cons. Talk about any possible cons with CJC 1295 no deck and what they are at length. Then from there, we're going to drop down and talk about dosage or dosing of CJC 1295 DAC. Uh, right after that, guys, I'm sure some of you guessed it. If you've watched other Unleashed videos, we're going to finish up with any extra additional information that plain and simple guys, either people don't talk about in the first place or they don't know to begin with. So guys, without any further ado, I'm Seth Spartan. This is CJC 1295 DAC Unleashed. Here we go. Starting in the pros, CJC 1295 DAC. What is it? It is a GH. RH derivative peptide. What does this mean? Well, first and foremost, guys, we have to address what is GHRH, right? For those of you that don't know, GHRH stands for growth hormone releasing hormone. What is growth hormone releasing hormone? Growth hormone releasing hormone is a peptide secreted by the hypothalamus which travels then a short distance to the pituitary gland in the middle of the brain. And what does it do? Binds onto it and triggers growth hormone release just like that, simple as that. Now, obviously, the mechanisms in the hypothalamus that secrete GHRH in the first place are uh, you know, controlled by genes, age, many different factors, exercise, sleep, different rhythms, right? And the hypothalamus is the control center, which basically you know, flips the switches the different switches to activate hormone release from the pituitary, whether it's uh, the hormones that produce testosterone or sperm production or metabolism, you know, growth hormone is what we're talking about. But the hypothalamus is the control center. So anyways, GHRH, growth hormone releasing hormone, released from the hypothalamus, hits the pituitary, short distance away, triggering, triggering HGH release. Now, why is this important in the first place and why did we have to cover it, right? Because this is the base, guys, or the foundation of what CJC1295 DAC is in the first place. So important we went through that first. So CJC1295 DAC is a GHRH derivative. What does this mean? What does a derivative mean? Well, guys, if you've watched any of my Unleashed videos on anabolic steroids, whether it's testosterone, DECA, Anadrol, Anavar, uh, Trenbolone, whatever, you know that derivative stands for what? Something that's derived from the base. In this case, it is a GHRH derivative, which means that GH, GHRH is taken, the same one that's produced by your body, is taken and modified to basically do what? To basically make a specific function in the human body, all right? And that's where uh, CJ, CJC1295 DAC comes from. Now with anabolic steroids, we have three different classes, right? We have testosterone derivatives, we have DHT derivatives, or uh, dihydrotestosterone derivatives, and we have 19 NOR or nandrolone derivatives. Now from these three classes, testosterone, DHT, and 19 NOR, every single anabolic steroid, pretty much every single anabolic steroid in existence comes from. So, and they're called deriv derivatives, why? <laughs> because scientists will pick one of these classes and produce anabolic steroid from that. It's no different when talking about GHRH in the sense that CJC1295 DAC is taken from what? Your body's natural GHRH. So having said that, moving on in the pros. CJC1295 DAC is what? It's a 29 amino acid sequence with... DAC added on. What is DAC? DAC stands for Drug Affinity Complex. So, 29 amino acid sequence, 29 amino acid sequence, peptide hormone, 
uh, added uh, or added on to by the drug affinity complex or DAC. Now, why is DAC added on in the first place? DAC is added on basically to what? Extend the active life or well, yeah, extend the, extend the active life in general, but you know, in a way that, that we're gonna understand, it's, it's to extend that half-life way out. So active life and half-life are both uh, greatly increased with uh, the DAC version of CJC. Now I wanna note that the original guys, the original, um, the original uh, GHRH, remember, uh, CJC 1295 DAC is a derivative, but with the original GHRH, which is which can either be made synthetically or produced uh, obviously naturally by our brains, that hormone is a 44 amino acid sequence peptide. Now you might ask, well, why if the original is 44 amino acids, why is uh, CJC 1295 only 29? Right, great question. Basically, what's, basically what scientists found out is is that they only needed 29 amino acids, a 29 amino, a 29 of these amino acids to basically produce the full and complete effect of HGH released from the pituitary. So, base probably what they said was, hey, we don't need to synthesize a harder to make peptide, or we don't need to synthesize the whole peptide. We only need to synthesize uh, 29 amino acids out of the 44. So I'm sure it had to do with money and also easier to make, right? And guys with a shorter peptide chain, you're also, I would say arguably, or most likely you're going to have less degradation of that peptide over time. All right, moving on. This, we're, this Now we're moving into what you guys wanna know. CJC 1295 DAC has a six to eight day half-life, six to eight days in the uh, most modern literature we have available. You know, some people say eight days, you know, if we wanted to split this, the most accurate thing we could say for half-life, you know, CJC 1295 DAC, seven day half-life, split it right in the middle, right? But in medical studies, the best figures we have are six to eight day half-life with CJC 1295 DAC. Now I wanna say this, the original CJC 1295 contains a 30 minute half-life, which is much longer than what? Original GHRH. So basically guys, CJC 1295 taken from GHRH, remember it's a derivative, we talked about that, already is going to have a much longer half-life uh, than uh, native or natural GHRH. It's already been tweaked. Notice, again, the amino acid change. So even without the DAC, 30 minute half-life versus, you know, right around, you know, five, 10, maybe even up to 15 minutes uh, with regular uh, GHRH. So already an improvement. And then with the, with the uh, DAC, drug affinity complex added on, we have a pretty uh, long acting growth hormone releasing peptide. All right, uh, moving on from here, moving down to the pros. CJC 1295 DAC is just as powerful as either synthetic or natural GHRH microgram per microgram. Extremely important to note. So if we're talking about your body's natural GHRH, let's say, let's say you went to a lab and you had your body's natural GHRH synthesized. Synthesized, right? Mi microgram per microgram. If you took a 100 microgram shot of GHRH versus 100 micrograms of what? CJC 1295 DAC. Mil uh, microgram per microgram, excluding the half lifes, so you have the same exact amount or around the same exact amount of growth hormone release. And that's why it's important to say this. All right, moving down in the pros. We're gonna talk about what you guys wanna know and what you're here for, all right? We've, we've addressed all of the, the more fancy, I guess it's not even fancy. We, we, we addressed most of the base stuff. Let's get into what you guys are here for. HGH release, bodybuilding, muscle gain, getting ripped, shredded, and uh, ultimately looking really good, right? All right, so let's move into this. This is what you guys have been waiting for. CJC 1295 DAC 
gives a huge HGH release. Absolutely huge HGH release. For comparison reasons, GHRH, 100 micrograms, will raise your HGH level to 25 nanograms per milliliter, which is a pretty big bump in HGH levels. Now, we know what? GHRH, 100 micrograms, is just as potent as what? CJC 1295 DAC. Right? Microgram per microgram. So we already know that with the longer half-life, guess what? You're going to get a, a lot more growth hormone release than a quick 25 nanograms per milliliter. So in terms of CJC 1295 DAC and growth hormone release, again, it's going to offer you what? In terms of bodybuilding, fitness, athletics, performance gains, fat loss, whatever. Go watch my HGH Unleashed video if you want everything that has to do with HGH and pros, cons, and et cetera. But with CJC 1295 DAC, huge HGH release, period. People think that, people think for some reason, either CJC 1295 uh, DAC or no DAC, they think it's weak. They think you can't take it by yourself. That's not at all true, guys. Most often people are using it wrong or not at the right dosages, or maybe they're getting fake stuff. You can get peptides, pharmaceutical prescription grade peptides at Prometheus HRT. You can sign up using my code if you want. If not, whatever. Having said that, uh, I want to flash here a chart. I'm going to I'm going to put on the screen for you guys now to see a chart just uh, of just how crazy and how big the HGH release is with CJC 1295 DAC. Just to shut everybody up who thinks that CJC 1295 DAC is weak or doesn't release that much HGH or you can't use it by yourself or without all this other garbage you, you hear or read online. Guys, CJC 1295 DAC is extremely, extremely powerful. You can raise your HGH levels easily to mimic, you know, five IUs of synthetic HGH. So I'm gonna flash on the screen now what one single, this is, this is a stud from a study, one single injection, that's it, one single injection of CJC 1295 DAC in people taken at a dose around three milligrams, six milligrams, 12.5 milligrams, and 25 milligrams about, all right? Uh, that's what the dosing comes out to for uh, a 220 pound male. So I do not encourage the high, the two higher doses, okay? Do not, I would never recommend taking as much as they took in this study. We'll talk about it more later, but I'm gonna flash the results for you on the screen right now to shut everybody up. Here we go. Now guys, moving on that we've that you guys have seen just how crazy that HGH release is, and we've you know shut everybody down. Let's move on to the pros. All right, CJC 1295 DAC can be added on to GHRPs or MK677 for even bigger pulses. All right, let's talk about this for a second. So what are GHRPs? It stands for Growth Hormone Releasing Peptide. Any Ghrelin Mimic. What is a Ghrelin Mimic? Oh, well, go watch my video. I don't want to have to explain what Ghrelin is again. Go watch any of my videos on... Okay, what are GHRPs? Growth Hormone Releasing Peptides. How do they work? By binding to the Ghrelin receptor on the pituitary gland and creating a what? Boom, a pulse of HGH. Growth Hormone Releasing Peptides are as follows. GHRP6, GHRP2, ipamorelin, hexarelin are all GHRPs, with hexarelin and ipamorelin being the two best in existence. All right, MK677 is bait. MK677 is still technically a growth hormone. Well, it's a growth hormone releasing secretagogue, but in medical studies and medical literature, MK677 works identically to what? GHRP6. And that's why you get all those nasty sides with MK, the same as you do with GHRP6. It's not refined down. Go watch either GHRP6 Unleashed or MK677 Unleashed. I talk about these at length. Having said that, people will add in growth hormone releasing peptides or MK677 onto CJC1295 DAC for even bigger pulses. Why? 
Usually what you read online is, is that something like this, ready? If you take CJC 1295 DAC or no DAC along with uh, your growth hormone releasing peptide, it'll multiply your pulse by two times, three times, four times, so, some, some, something like this. That's not true. That's not true. What happens is this. It's more of an ad adding effect than it is a multiplying effect. What do I mean by that? If you take CJC 1295 DAC by itself, let's just say, let's just take my dose, right? Let's say, let's say you take three mil, let's say, you, let's say you take three milligrams pharmaceutical grade CJC 1295 DAC, right? What's going to happen? What is going to happen when you do that? Boom. Big pulse of HGH. That's going to come down and it's going to amplify all the other pulses and create a little bit of HGH, uh, what do you call it, want to call it, HGH uh, release in between pulses as well, right? That's what's going to happen. Now, from there, what else is going to happen? Everything is going to keep getting amplified until that peptide disappears more and more from your system, right? Now, in the case of GHRPs or MK677, you get that big pulse from secreting on the Greenland or from binding to that Greenland receptor site. Boom, you get a pulse, big pulse, and it's gone, right? Quick, fast, over with. Now, what people do, what people say is, oh, it multiplies the pulses like I was just talking about, right? It multiplies two, three, four, whatever. And that's not really what happens. What happens is, is that you get you get all the gain from the growth. You get all the gain from CJCs, right? From CJC 1295 DAC or no DAC, you get all that gain, but then you get the gain on top of it if you use a growth hormone releasing peptide at the same exact time, right? All right, so it's an, ad it's an addition effect. It's not really a multiplying effect like people talk about. Oh, you get four times the pulse, you know, three times the pulse. That, that's not really got how it works, guys. The reason you take them at the same time is because you can basically stack all the effects of a GHRP along with the uh, with the growth hormone. You can stack all the HGH release, which is a lot if you're taking a GHRP correctly. You can stack all the growth hormone release. For example, let's say GH. Let's say you took uh, ipamorelin, right? You have this big pulse of human growth hormone hitting about we'll just say 65, uh, 65 to 75 nanograms per milliliter. Well, what you can do, right? You have this big pulse, big long pulse. You can stack the growth hormone release of uh, CJC 1295 DAC or no DAC on top of it to make that pulse even bigger. So it's addition, guys. You're adding pulses, all right. You're not like you're not like multiplying it by three times or four times. That's not how it works, all right. So you're gonna get you're gonna basically add the pulse from the GHRP, whatever. In my case, I in the example I put out. It was ipamorelin, so 65, 75 nanograms per milliliter. Then you're going to add on, you know, another 25 or 35, however much of CJC DAC or no DAC you're taking at that time. So, and why do people take them at the same time? Not, you know, not because that multiplier effect, but rather so you can take them at the at, in the same injection and basically get make that pulse even bigger. It's not like the, you know you don't have to add in uh, other injections. So. You know, you might get a little bit of synergy, but it's not enough to call it multiplying pulses. It's more of, again, you're adding. Moving on to the pros. CJC 1295 DAC can be used alone. I cannot stress this enough. It can absolutely be used alone. Again, people, you read online, people say, oh, you know, you know, sorry, uh, CJC 1295 or CJC 1295 uh, DAC or no DAC, you know, can't use it alone. It's just, it's barely effective. You're not going to get many gains. That's not true. It's complete garbage. And we see that if you guys remember when I flashed that chart or that graph, you see that CJC 1295 at high doses is what, you know, can be more effective than taking a couple IUs of synthetic HGH. It is powerful. It is freakishly powerful as long as you're getting real stuff. You can absolutely use CJC 1295 DAC alone. Uh, you know, less of a case for um, much less of a case to use CJC 1295 alone, just because your body is basically doing what? It's eating up that. It's the body is able to eat up uh, that peptide. You know, 
the CJC 12, 1295 without DAC, you know, much faster. 30 minute half life compared to uh, six to eight days. So, you know, I just wanted, I, I don't know how to say this nicely, but I just want to shut everybody up here and say that CJC 1295 DAC is extremely powerful and can be even more powerful, far more powerful than synthetic HGH because it is, it, we'll get into some of the cons with this, with this because this hormone can be, you know, over the top in terms of, uh, you know, just how much HGH release you're going to get. And then the problem is, is that it's stuck in your system. We'll get into that in a little bit too. So uh, moving on. Pros, infrequent injections, all right? Infrequent injections with CJC1295 DAC. In that study, in that, or in that, you know, that study that graph I put up, we are talking, you know, low, medium, and extreme. I don't know how they got that study, uh, you know, got that study approved, right? Maybe people just didn't know what, what that compound was, but in that study, you know, they're giving people 20, 25 milligrams in one dose. So they gave them, you know, up to a humongous dose, you know, small, medium, and large doses of CJC 1295 DAC. And the people that were getting like 20, 25 uh, milligrams in one injection, guys, their HGH levels were still skyrocketed uh, two weeks later, all right? So the thing is, is that you can do infrequent injections. Absolutely, you can of CJC 1295 DAC. Absolutely. But in my opinion, it's going to be less effective doing it that way. Why? Basically, I didn't want to get into this now, but I might as well. Basically, put it this way you could take the full amount once per week. Boom. Let's say every Monday you take, let's say every Monday you take uh, three milligrams, six milligrams, you know, something like that. Well, you'd be almost better off taking a milligram, you know, just one milligram. Uh, before you train, half an hour before you train. Why? Because we see, again, in medical studies that when you take this hormone, it skyrockets and then it starts coming down a couple hours later and down and down until your body eats it away. So the thing is, is that why not take it right before training to, to just do what? You want to raise that level, not just to get a big pulse every day, but you raise it right before training to do what? To make your body's natural pulses, to amplify them hugely, all right? So this is one of those things where, yeah, you can use it. You can do infrequent injections, and it's going to be uh, completely, um, completely beneficial, but you can get far more gain if you do what? If you take it, you know, before training to amplify your body's already big pulses it's going to be secreting. All right, guys, moving on to the pros. Uh, let's see here. Covered it in frequent injections. Here we go. CJC 1295 DAC, continual HGH release. We are talking pure and clean continual HGH release compared to GHRPs. Now, I love GHRPs, GHRP6, GHRP2, Ipamorelin, Hexerelin, I love them. They're amazing, they're powerful, they work. Uh, you know, and the scientist that came up with them is genius. You know, you took, you take your body's, you know, you take your body's uh, growth hormone secreting system, which is triggered by ghrelin from fasting, and you basically modify it to create, you know, big pulses with very, very little side effects and very little prolactin and cortisol release. Amazing, right? Great idea, absolutely great idea. But the thing is, is that if you compare it to either natural uh, GHRH, which again, your hypothalamus produces, or you compare it to CJC 1295, DAC or no DAC, it is far, and I mean far inferior in terms of being uh, a pure and clean HGH release. So what do I mean? If you use GHRPs, no matter which one, you're gonna get a lot of desensitization and you're gonna have to take days off. That's the first problem, desensitization, all right? The second problem uh, is what? Prolactin and cortisol. Uh, every, every GHRP besides, uh, you know, ipamorelin is gonna have, you know, a decent amount of cortisol and prolactin increases. Hexarelin, not as much, but, you know, 
if you're going above 100 micrograms, uh, you're still going to get a de uh, some, all right, unfortunately. So the thing is, guys, is that, you know, in my opinion, not just my opinion, but in the medical literature, we see a large continual HGH release that's pure and clean when compared to GHRPs. Okay, you're not upsetting, you're doing, put it this way, the natural way your body does what? Secretes HGH, human growth hormone, is hypothalamus, creates GHRH from the nucleus, and does what? Goes, goes like an inch or two over to the pituitary, triggers growth hormone release. When you sleep, when you exercise, when you do, uh, when you watch a funny movie. Yes, guys, if you, uh, in studies, if you watch a funny movie and you laugh, it makes your body secrete human growth hormone. So I guess laughing is actually good for you. I should laugh more. Ha ha ha. All right. So, so anyways, guys, that's what we know about, uh, you know, the human body. So the thing is, is that the GH, the GHRP max, the G, GHRP mechanism, GHRP6 to hypomyelin hexarelin works through your body's more, it works through a different mechanism, which can produce large, uh, large secretions of HGH but it desensitizes easy and it comes with other sides such as uh, cortisol and prolactin with the exception of pretty much hypomorelin. Uh, and it's, you know, your body's, uh, it's still hitting that body's basically starvation switch even if you're able to remove a lot of the, um, a lot of the cons with hypomorelin. But great peptides, but overall, uh, CJC1295 DAC is much purer and cleaner or no DAC for that matter. Uh, guys, the last thing out, Moving on to the pros, last thing, no desensitization issues. Now, in this study, we're going to talk about the cons in just a second. In this study, they gave people, they gave participants 250, up to 250, that was the highest dose they gave them, up to 250 micrograms per kilogram. Let's think about this for a second. If you are a 100 kilogram male, in other words, in America, if you weigh 220 pounds, you would have gotten 25 milligrams of CJC 1295 DAC in one single dose, all right? I can imagine these guys' heads were pounding red as a cherry. They thought they were going to die probably until that effect went away an hour later. I'm sure that growth hormone release probably made them look, you know, young <laughs> immediately. But the thing is, guys, is that in this study... You know, if you think about, you know, if there was any anybody, you know, 220 pounds or over, they got 25 milligrams or more. All right. One single dose. We see that what? Even at crazy dosages, do not do what they did in that study. Again, I don't know how they got this approved, uh, you know, by the government. But, but regardless, regardless, with CJC 1295 DAC, no DAC with GHRH, we don't see any desensitization issues. Now, I'm sure there, this happens to s a little bit because your body has a, well, I guess it would happen because you, basically you run out of uh, human growth hormone to secrete. Uh, but the thing is we see is, is that you don't desensitize like you would to a GHRP, all right, which can only be tripped. The growth hormone releasing peptide GHRP6 to hyperrenal hexagon can only be tripped so often, all right? Unlike uh, CJC1295 DAC or no DAC, which works through the GHRH pathway. All right, guys, I'm Seth Spartan. We covered all the pros. Let's move into the cons. Here we go. All right, cons. What, what do you guys need to know? Guys, I'm going to make this really, really simple. Go watch my video, HGH Unleashed. If you want all of the cons about having high HGH levels, again, there is a laundry list of cons from uh, HGH misuse or abuse when HGH levels get too high, including, or if you're, if you're pre-diabetic or a diabetic, there's reasons not to uh, have high HGH levels. Uh, you know, if you're healthy, it's not a big deal. However, pure, bottom line, bottom line is this. If you want a full list of cons, and we are talking a long, full list of, you know, laundry list of cons explained at length. If you want all the cons of HGH misuse or abuse, you know, compared to your rel relative health, go watch HGH Unleashed and go to the cons. We're not going to cover that. I covered that in the other video and it was hard and long. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to cover the cons that are specific 
What are the cons specific to CJC 1295 DAC itself? And go watch HGH Unleashed, go watch the cons in that video for that long list. But we're just gonna cover what cons are specific to CJC 1295 DAC. Number one, itchy injection site. Now this is common, extremely common, commonly reported. In fact, I don't know anybody myself who does not experience this. Just because of you know how this peptide is either, I wouldn't say how it's made, how this peptide, you know, the, the, the structure, the sequence, how this peptide is, this 29 amino acid with a DAC added on, or no DAC for that matter, it's gonna do what? It's gonna give you a very itchy injection site. Do not itch it frantically, all right? It goes away within a couple minutes, but as soon as you do that injection, it's gonna be likely that you're gonna have an itchy injection site. This goes away in a couple minutes, not a big deal, right? But we have to talk about it, it's an Unleashed video. From there, depending on the dose, and even at lower dosages for that matter, guys, you're gonna have red face and flushing, uh, you know, depending on dosage. So if you, CJC 1295 DAC, you can take, you know, a milligram, you can take two or three, but you'll notice the higher you climb up in the milligrams, anything pretty much over one. Uh, and again, do everything under doctor supervision here. But the higher you go in the milligrams, you know, if you take one milligram, one milligram of CJC 1295 DAC, you might have a little bit of a uh, little red face, a little flushing. This is genetic dependent, but everybody is going to get this red, red face and flushing effect, uh, you know, at, at some dosage. All right. So the higher, higher you go, I would advise if you've never taken CJC 1295 DAC before, uh, start with a milligram. And then next time, if you want to do two, do two, but don't just be like, I'm going to take five milligrams. And then you're sitting there and your face is red, completely red and you're flushed and you're sweating <laughs> and you're, you're panicking because you don't know what's going on. Uh, you know, and if you take too much guys, if you take like way too much, we're talking, you know, you take, uh, what you take, you know, anything above, I don't even know how many milligrams, anything above, you know, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten milligrams. Your head is going to look like a cherry, and you're going to have wicked headaches. Uh, it's not going to be a fun thing. And again, this is going to happen at different dosages for people. I don't remember how much of CJC twelve ninety five DAC I have, you know, personally taken before. Uh, but um, you know, I've used this. I have a prescription for CJC twelve ninety five itself right now through Prometheus. Uh, but you know, I can't remember off the top of my head you know, what dose, red face flushing set in for me. Having said that, guys, let's move on to the cons. Uh, actually, guess what? That's it, we're done with the cons. Nice and fast, huh? Guys, I love CJC 1295 DAC and no DAC. Uh, the cons are minimal. Um, I guess the only con I want I could add in is, is really that, you know, the only thing is, is that if you take way too much, you know, you take too much in general, you're gonna have to wait like a week for this to get out of your system. You might be, you know, you might have extreme lethargy. You know, your HGH level is gonna be, you might have ex extreme lethargy. You're gonna be sleeping like 10 hours a night. HGH makes you, you know, uh, you just wanna lay down and nap. Lethargy, tired, you're gonna sleep more. Uh, what other cons can I think about? You could have carpal tunnel, you know, and you're gonna have to wait like a week for it to get out of your system. So the thing is, you know, or at least for levels to dip down. So the thing is, guys, you know, think about this. Better to take less and wait a day or two than take a ton and you have to wait like seven days until, you know, it gets a lot better. So with, C with CJC 1295 DAC, please start low. Start low again. Do everything under doctor supervision. I believe they offer this through Prometheus HRT. Why? Because I am currently prescribed CJC 1295 DAC. I take that along with Ipamorelin for huge gains in terms of fat loss and also muscle gain. Um, let's see here. Uh, that's it for the cons. Moving now, guys, into dosage. Here we go. Dosing, CJC 1295 DAC. This is my personal professional recommendation to you. Check with your doctor before you do anything. But my opinion is what? Two to 10 milligrams per week. Let me say that again. Two to 10 milligrams per week. Again, I have extensive use 
Uh, with this peptide, uh, I believe it's currently legal in the U.S. to buy and sell. Um, but however, uh, you know, it's currently legal in the U.S. to buy and possess. My bad. Uh, but the thing is, guys, I would still recommend you get it with the prescription, either from. It doesn't have to be through my clinic, but I would get it with the prescription. You know what you're getting. It's pharmaceutical grade, uh, such and so forth. And they're also going to add stabilizing agents in there so it doesn't go bad as fast. Having said all that, my personal opinion, guys, uh, is this, is, is that, you know, the best way, you know, for me, if you're a larger person over 200 pounds, my personal opinion, if you want to maximize HGH levels, and I would get your levels tested after a week, you can do this by getting an IGF-1 test. But my personal opinion, you know, if you want really, really good results, one milligram every other day or one milligram on training days, you take it, you know, half an hour to an hour, eh, probably about a half an hour before you train, get this big bump, and then you train, and it boosts natural pulses even higher. That's the best way to do it. Otherwise, if you want to do it in one or two injections, you can do that too if you're lazy. Again, you're just going to get more bang for buck taking it before your workout because levels are going to be spiked up even higher. Uh, you know, uh, so again, my personal opinion, two to 10 milligrams per week. Start at the lower end, work your way up as you want and as blood work shows. Again, do everything through your doctor. Uh, having said that, guys, let's talk about this insane, crazy study. All right, here we go. All right. So this study, this insane study, again, I've already talked about it a little bit. I couldn't help it. With this study, I don't know how they rammed it through you know, got it approved, but they got it approved. This is what they did. They gave people, listen up, please listen up. You're going to want to hear this. They gave people a dose of either 300 micrograms per kilogram. No, hang on, 300, not that much. They gave people 30 micrograms per kilogram, 60 micrograms per kilogram, 125 micrograms per kilogram, or uh, 250 micrograms per kilogram. Now, if you're a if you are a 220 pound male, all right, this comes out to the, these dosages: three milligrams in one dose, six milligrams in one dose, 12.5 milligrams in one dose, and a whopping 25 milligrams of CJC 1295 DAC in one dose. I feel bad for the people that got a shot of 25 milligrams. All right, their face, they probably were sitting there in the room with the nurse, their face red, about to pass out, sweat dripping down their face. They probably looked like a cherry and about to pop. And after the study, they're thinking, they probably thought to themselves, the doctors and nurses, we shouldn't have done this. We shouldn't have done this. All right. So that, well, or the scientists, whatever, who ran this study, I cannot imagine taking a dose of 25 milligrams of CJC 1295 DAC. The HGH bump would have been huge. But the big thing with this guys is, is that you do not want to take that much at one time. I do not know how these, how these scientists, uh, you know, were able to get this study approved. I, I have no idea. Anyways. So, you know, three milligrams and six milligrams, 12 and a half milligrams and 25 if you were a, um, a 220 pound male. Now, I don't know the exact way of the participants, but I can assure you, you know, uh, these dosages, you know, are somewhere close to that. And I'm sure there was some heavier guys that got dosages of this caliber. What One thing in the study that I saw, guess what this scientist said? Three milligrams and six milligrams were handled very well. You know, you can, if I took six milligrams, I would still have a red face and flush and I would be like, oh boy, I feel my heart beat in my head. I'd kind of look like a little bit of a cherry, but I could handle it. You know, anything up here, you know, if we're talking 12.5 milligrams or 25 milligrams, that, that is insanity. Now, this is what I want to say. In this study, they didn't do multiple injections. They did one injection. So it was either one injection of, you know, again, depending on how much they weighed, but it was one injection of three milligrams, six milligram, 12.5 milligram, and 25 milligram. They did one injection and then they traced their HGH levels for the next uh, 14 days. No, it went even longer than that. They traced their HGH levels for like the next month. All right. And what they found was is that, uh, you know, all of them had humongous increases and for long periods of time. Again, we are talking six to eight day half-life. So, 
Is CJC 1295 DAC effective or is it not? It is extremely, extremely effective. I cannot say that enough. This peptide kicks butt, like whips butt. In fact, this peptide, guys, this peptide is better than synthetic HGH, period. If you, if you have a working pituitary gland, CJC 1295 DAC is gonna be far better than synthetic HGH. It's gonna kick its butt. Not only price you're gonna be paying, but uh, you know, not only price you're gonna be paying, but uh, in terms of you're not shutting down your natural production, you can get, you know, you could, you could easily, if you were taking, I am not encouraging anybody to do this, do everything safely, legally through your doctor, but theoretically, you could take, if you have a good working pituitary gland, you could be take, you could take one milligram every single day of CJC 1295 DAC, and that be the equivalent of, of five IUs uh, a day of HGH. So it works, all right? CJC 1295 DAC, it works. Moving on to any ex extra additional information that we have to talk about. Here we go. All right, CJC 1295 DAC. What do we need to know? What are people not gonna tell you? Here we go. CJC 1295 DAC and no DAC are the best ever, all right? It just depends on what you are trying to use them for. I honestly don't understand why so many people have so much hate for CJC 1295 DAC and think that uh, no DAC is a million times better because it's not. Just plain and simple, it is not. I've used both, I've gotten my HGH levels checked. You know, I can tell you that, I can tell you this, Here's the bottom line. Everybody who, who talks against CJC 1295 is wrong. And I already showed you the medical studies. You've seen the crate, you, you've seen how well this has worked in terms of HGH release. This is the bottom line. CJC 1295 DAC is better than no DAC, bang per buck. Why? Here's the bottom line. More overall HGH release and a lot more. So bang per buck, you're gonna get a lot more HGH release from CJC 1295 DAC, all right? And a lot more, all right? So the thing is, is that, you know, if in my case, let's take my case for example, would I be better off doing Ipamorelin CJC, Ipamorelin taken with CJC 1295 uh, DAC instead of no DAC. Yes, because I would not only get what? Not only would I get the, you know, the pulse from the Ipamorelin with the added pulse from the CJC 1295 DAC alongside it, but then I would get that, you know, a slow decreasing tail of HGH release uh, from using the DAC version. Now, people that, you know, the only reason people say that CJC 1290 or I think, in my opinion, the only reason people say CJC 1295 no DAC is better is because they feel it a lot faster. They feel, you know, you take a shot of, you know, you take that, you get all of it right, you get immediately all of it, all of it right away and you're gonna feel it. But guys, you gotta remember, it's not just about the, uh, you know, bigger flush feeling. It's not just a bigger, uh, bottom line, you're getting, you're gonna get more HGH release from using DAC over no DAC. The only reason it would make sense to use no DAC is, I mean, is if you were gonna use it consistently with a GHRP every single time. Uh, and you could do that, you could certainly do that, but again, I would argue to that person, why not just take, why not take a little bit more uh, with DAC and then you're gonna boost all your body's natural pulses. So I guess guys, you know, you can do what you want. It depends on what you're doing. No DAC can be used and it's great. It is absolutely great. I'm using it right now. But the thing is guys, you're gonna get more HGH release, microgram per microgram, if you use CJC, what? DAC over no DAC. Guys, I'm Seth Spartan. This is CJC 1295 DAC Unleashed. Stay safe, stay healthy, do everything safely, legally through your doctor. And you guys guessed it, we are out of here.